Hey everybody, I'm out here with my solar mower, sort of, and if you go look at a previous video, you'll see right there that really cool under $275 power smart inverter generator. Now normally I would use something like that to charge up something like this, but in a video I just released, I show how to build this. And yes, it is a slight bit bulky. And go look at the end of the video or look it up here for a link. I'll give you a link to that. Amazing. Absolutely bulletproof. And uses the Yamaha engine on it. A little 53cc four-stroke. This is a all-two solar, solar panel. And it comes with, and there's a very end of the video link. Or I'll put a little picture up right here. So go subscribe, look in the back of the video there for it. All the parts that I'm using out here, I'll put a link to them and y'all can check them out and verify them. So what I've done here is I built using some salvage cells, a 200 amp hour power plant for a 120 volt mower. It's an old Sun Joe we picked up literally roadside free. Um, the only thing that was wrong with it was the switch in there had the little cam thing, you know, bent back and boom, worked fixed it really easy um you will see something that's kind of cool here using this little built-in mppt you have a cord that comes from the panel all right cannot screw this up and it shows it here where it says input from solar and output and so i have it wired in and these will do this will do lead acid agm and lithium so this is lithium lipo for batteries and this one here i want you to watch I'm going to focus on that and you're going to see how we charge up now normally i would park the mower because it's you know got batteries on it i'd park it under the carport but we're going to get to see right there that it is putting in 6.8 charging amps at 13.7 volts and now we will select all right sorry i've got it pre-selected there's lithium selected right there but you can go to lead acid kind of bright outside so let's see if it does it easy so there's lead acid there's agm and then there's lithium now default setting for lithium if you don't have this on your charge controller would be agm okay so you can use agm on a lithium so if you have an agm charger use it on lithium batteries they're fine as long as you have a standardized bms that's battery maintenance system controllers on them so what do you guys think now let me show you an amazing thing this this 1500 watt bulletproof inverter and another thing is you see these four screws there's two on here and two over here on this side so if i ever need to open this up it just unclamps shells right up here in the top just pops right off air blow it out if it gets dirty or dusty enough and generally this this fans these fans really really stomp so i mean they blow a lot of air but um, they're not that loud, but they do move a lot of air. So I have this thing here, 1500 watt, and I'll show you just by powering it up. If you didn't see the previous video, we'll hit the power. And now we've got power. And then I'll get this cord here out of the way. And I have a little safety button down here. So I'm gonna have to use my knee to leave, lift this leverage if I'm, so here we go. So you see, it didn't stir up a whole lot of dust being right here on the driveway. Um, out in the grass, it's not going to produce much at all. But under a full load, when this is loaded down, we went over and cut some heavy weeds with it. Just to see what full load, it was still under five and a half amps. Technically, that still gives me four and a half hours of runtime on one charge. And then I just bring it back in and boom, plug it in. I don't need to use it for another two or three days. Well, it gets charged in about a day and a half. You see what I mean? So there you are. And if you think about, well, you just want to just buy one of them little battery mowers. Yeah, and another $100 battery, another $100 battery, you know, one after another to run 15, 20 minutes at a shot. Or, boom, that's 450 watts total max power this thing averages. That's nothing on that inverter. In fact, it's so nothing. Let me show you this. So let me spin this around a little bit here and leave it hooked up. And what I've done is I put me a little short cord a little short cord on here and zipped it off so that we won't have any excess stress loading you know because you don't want to be jerking on your inverter 
um, damaging it. Now, you can, you can set this up for all purposes that you can imagine. So I'm just going to spin it around, and then I will grab that cord. Now you see this. I can use a weed eater out here, which I show in the previous video, or I can just plug in. There's plugged in magic right there. And I'm out here at my truck right now. So we will bring the cord over here and I will plug in something to work in the truck. Okay, so now I've got a dirty truck. Of course, <laughs> I installed big solar racks. You can just see what we pick up out in the desert. All right, so there we go. You name it. A lot of West Texas mud in this truck. Weeds from the valley. And this thing here, I can run this thing here. Turn that off. I can run this thing here to vacuum about two dozen cars. Vacuum out about two dozen cars before that battery hits 60%. No joke. That's a lot. So what I've got is I've got a mobile power station right there. Designed simple easy to use and it's really not as heavy as you think it'd be it really isn't my daughter pushes this around like no problem now that little generator there we actually used it once to go out there and i think she could have heard it but she chewed a cord up in here because she's way back in the back and we didn't want to run 500 foot cords back there so we took the little jenny and it did its normal thing it hit its breaker when she chewed the cord up and that's how this design come into action but boy is it ever a cool design? All right, you guys be good. Build it if you can.